Hey Personas fam, this is Perry, and I am mastering engineer for a company called Noxos of America and Noxos Music Group. And if you don't know much about Noxos, it's the world's largest digital distributor for classical jazz and world music. Uh, in my role at Noxos as mastering engineer, I've mastered probably over 100 compilation records. I've had the privilege of remastering some of their iconic high definition recordings, and I have Apple Digital Master certified well over 12,000 songs. So it's safe to say that I have heard a lot of classical music these past few years and put Studio One through its paces the last few years. Uh, I'm also a musician and producer and engineer, and I've had the privilege of working on some cool projects, and I've got some here today that I'm going to use as examples to walk you through some of my favorite updates that Personas has made to Studio One's project page. In particular, all us mastering engineers are probably really excited about the number one requested update, and that is track automation. As you probably know by now, they've added it, and it's so cool. But there's some other goodies that I found they've added, and I'm particularly excited about them, and I'm going to walk you through how I use those right now. Okay, the number one requested feature, track automation. I'm going to show you how I use it. Oftentimes, mastering engineers get tracks where there are sections that are either too quiet or they're a bit too loud. And before you run it through all your fancy dynamics and all that fun stuff, to level out that track, you still want to bring that section up or maybe if that section's too loud, you want to bring it down. So I'm just going to walk you through it, show you how I do it here. Clicking over to Studio One. This is a group called Wilder Blue. It's an ambient music project, and the song's called Cosmic Honey. As you can see, the intro piece, intro section right here is just a little quieter compared to the rest of the song. So be sure to enable automation. Be sure to enable automation in the track lane as well. And I'm just going to get in here. I'm going to start adding my nodes. I'm going to bring it up about one and a half decibels. And I'm going to see if that does well. Okay, that's a good, that's a good transition point there. And it sounds like one and a half decibels is about right to bring up the intro piece. Another thing I like to do with automation is what I call manual dynamics. And so let's say, for instance, these kicks. Uh, let's say I wanted them really loud. Let's pretend they wouldn't clip. Maybe this, you know, let's say it's a bass note and I want to get in here and just really bring those bass notes up a bit and make them really stand out. That's something I could do. Let's say they're, let's say they're too loud. I can come in here and bring them down. Nice. So... Again, the cool thing about this is that we can do all this track automation right here from the project page, as opposed to having to take our pre-mastered track back into the song page. This is a big time saver. Okay, another feature in Studio One's project page updates, they have added Clip Gang, and I'm gonna show you why I'm real excited about this. So, we already reviewed track automation, which is helpful for overall volume levels for specific parts of songs. But let's say we've got a stubborn peak. Uh, let's say this peak right here, he's giving me trouble. He's clipping, and I need to do something about that. Well, gain envelope needs to be checked. Uh, first, you want to left-click on the event and click on gain envelope. Now, all of a sudden, we have a white line running across the middle here. Now I'm able to zoom in, add nodes, and get a visual feedback of what this is actually doing. How cool is that? Track automation is great, like I said, for particular parts and songs, for overall volume for particular parts and songs, but Clip Gang or Clip Gang Envelopes this is amazing. We now have the ability to get in here granularly, add these nodes, bring stubborn peaks down, and actually get visual feedback of what is going on. And this is a song that um, I've mastered for a group called Jesse Cole. And it's called 
spark. Put in some finishing touches. So that is clip gain envelopes. Okay, the next feature to the update that I want to tell you about is replace audio on track. Now, why am I really excited about this? I'm excited about this because probably not like anybody else out there, you get to the mastering phase and you're making your um, effects, you're adding your dynamic compression, you're doing your limiting, doing all this stuff, and then you like really listen through the track and you're like, whoops, there's something I really actually want to tweak, but I really want to tweak it back in the mix. So this is going to save you time if you've already gone ahead and you've done your trims and your fades to the front and back of the song, because what this allows you to do is it allows you to go and drag your newly exported track from your mix session over the same track on your mastering session, but keep the trims and the fades that you've already made. So you don't have to spend time doing those trims and fades again. And I don't know about you, but when I make trims and fades, I'm really kind of particular. I'm listening for the emotion, how it affects the overall impact and the emotion on the song and it takes me several minutes to get those locked in so the last thing i want to do is have to make those again well personas has made that easy so check this out i've got another song here this is by jesse cole and that's spelled k-o-l and um i'm actually i'm actually in the band uh so anyway this song's called genesis and i've made my trims and my fades right here in the front and the back of the song and let's say I've just heard something that I want to change. So I went back to my mix. I've re-exported the song. I'm going to go now and I'm going to grab it from here. But what I want to do in order to keep the same length, the trims and the fades, I want to hit Alt Option and Shift on my keyboard, hold those both down at the same time, come to the file. Well, let's just grab one file. Come to the file, click and drag over the file or the event in the session. And you get a little box here that says replace event, keep length. Drag and drop, ba bing. I'm gonna do it one more time to make sure it took. Bam, it's in there with the trims and the fades right where I put them. And let's see how this sounds. <laughs> So that, my friends, is Replace Audio On Track. Check it out. Okay, so thanks for letting me walk you through some of my favorite features and updates to the project page, things that in my mastering career I know are going to save me time, it's going to save me hassle, and I'm really glad Personas has added these updates to project page. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you today. I hope it helps you out in what you're doing with music and mastering. Talk to you later.